coverage of Comic-Con. I'm Dalton Ross sitting here with the cast of The Strain. Thanks, guys, for coming in. Great to have you here. First off, I just want to make sure I exactly know who I'm talking to. Is this really David Bradley or is Arya Stark under here? You're not going to like pull off a face or anything. Well, uh, Maisie does a pretty good impression. So so she's, uh, she's here taking my place this morning. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. And she's great. So uh, I'm, I'm getting her to stand in for... Give me the money and she can do all the work for me. <laughs> She's just going to take all your roles from now on. I think that's a good idea. And I can watch from the comfort of my sofa. And <laughs> that works for me. Um, before we continue, I want to know if we have a group decision. Can we not let Zach press any more buttons? Like anything? <laughs> like I don't want a PS4 controller. Nothing because that's led to nothing but trouble, dude. Yeah, I mean, he's a little bit of trouble, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. Just yeah, a little just bit. A, just a little bit. Um, well, it's really interesting because it's season four. It's the last season. But it's kind of in a weird way because of the whole illumination. It's almost, it feels to me watching, it's almost like a reboot of the show from somewhere. Do you guys feel that at all? It's almost like a new show with the time jump and everything? Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a, sort of a whole new uh, set of, of rules for the world. You know, the Strigoi have, have taken over and started this whole new regime, you know, where it's a sort of post apocalyptic. Sort of sources of power and, 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 and different uh, uh, factions. And you've got you're up in uh, North, North Dakota. Or South Dakota. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm in Philadelphia. It's it's you know the first three seasons were very sort of hyper local in, in, in New York City, and now we've sort of spread to the to the four corners. And it's nuclear winter now, so it's it, the whole look is really different. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, absolutely. And what's it like now being here? Um, for like with this being the last season, uh, is it sort of a, I know you guys are doing your panel in just very soon, uh, and, but is it like a different feeling being here to sort of celebrate uh, the last season and you still have a lot to go, but you're also sort of celebrating everything that's come before it or not? Well, it's just great to hang out together, to see each other yeah. and to, to, to see how everybody does, you know? The baby's coming, or baby's already here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so you celebrating the four year journey? Now, now it's the. I mean, we started drinking this morning, so uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm not supposed to say it. But, uh, yeah. 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 yeah, no, double, a double. Thank <laughs> I bring some toothpaste for us. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have some treats for the plan for the fans planned at the panel? What can you sort of tease for us? What's going to happen there? Well, we got like a little um, um, video that we shot uh, that that only people sitting. In that audience are likely to get to see a um, very little video. A very little <laughs> video. Yeah, it'll be, it, um, yeah, a little kind of uh, us having fun, poking fun at each other. Um, so that, that that should be fun. And uh, and, and uh, Carlton's in that as well, which is yeah. nice. Oh, yeah. Is this a blooper reel? It's not me. Are, are they playing a blooper reel? I don't know, but this uh, is a part after, after the Vamps Boom video, is it? That's yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. you've done another one without telling me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Well, they we told got, Maisie. We, we got, told Maisie. yeah, we got. The, <laughs> we got the girl from Game of Thrones. <laughs> Don't need you anymore. <laughs> All right. Have any of you tried the Freedom Bars? Have any of you tried uh, tasting the Freedom Bars? What's actually in these bars? No. No. No one. No. I mean, guess? they were on set for like four months. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> any food that's on to. set, you just. Uh, I can tell you, it's very tasty. You think so? It's very nutritious, yeah. and it's very it's healthy. What yeah, it's yeah. what you need. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, coming from you, I'm not sure I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy that uh, whatsoever. Um, Corey, what about with F? Because it's kind of interesting with him this season. It seems like he has a totally different attitude when the season starts. We saw the season premiere the other day where he's just like, we lost. He seems a little lost. Um, how long is he going to be lost for? What can you tease in terms of coming up with him? Because he's in a very different place now. Yeah, no. When you think about from the from the pilot to to now, you know, he started off in the pilot. He had absolute faith in himself and his ability to conquer any problem, and now he's basically just in survival mode. He's living literally underground uh, and just trading, you know, medical expertise for for alcohol. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, he's not somebody who can stay down for for too long. He finds a way to uh, to get back to his somewhat heroic 
uh, middle ground. What I kind of find interesting about the new season is just all the, the use of the propaganda like materials, we talked about the freedom bars and the illumination, and just like the language used, the marketing materials, the videos and everything. I mean, it's kind of obviously something we've seen in history before, but that kind of fascinates me. Well, that's actually the very thing that's so fascinating for us too. I mean, for me, for from the vampire side, it's the perfect new world, but even in, in, in that perfect new world, you have problems to deal with, you know, it's not only for those little groups of humans who would never give up. But the language is actually, the, the language, the whole package of the, the vampire world, yes, it's actually uh, very deeply mm, taken over from what uh, humanity has created as a false language. A nice package, but what's rotten, what's, what's really inside is rotten, but you, you, s you sell it as a beautiful thing, you know. And the question is for like the humans, like who's going to collaborate and who's going to take a chance uh, and you know, overcome their fear of you know. Well, but that's you, that, that's what you do uh, in that situation. Is you push it to 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 the limits of acceptance, and then everybody, each single individual, has to decide where he, where it goes, where yeah. he, where he goes. Does he accept this domination, or does or does does he revolt against it? You know, it's a it's a different kind of survival. You know, the human instinct is to survive. So, do you survive? by working with the vampires, or do you survive underground, off-grid? Yeah, and we'll see a little bit more of that in this coming episode, uh, I know, uh, moving forward. I, I'm thinking spin-offs already, like, okay, <laughs> we're going to go I'm thinking like we got, uh, I'm just gonna pitch a show right now, it's called Quinlan and Fett. It's the little buddy, buddy show, just going around, doing their thing. Half hour single kids. Yeah, exactly, that's yeah. exactly what I'm thinking. You Sharing like an apartment. Yeah, exactly, yeah. laugh track, <laughs> we're gonna laugh track in there. I'm, I'm all for it. You ready for that? Yeah. I'm all right. What can you guys tease in terms of what's coming up on the show? We just saw the first episode. Uh, we got the whole rest of the season. What kind of tidbits can you guys give us? Well, with, what we've lost is uh, as the characters is that unity of purpose. Although we had all the characters had different ideas about how to tackle the problem of the, the master, at least we were mostly a lot of us in the same room um, arguing amongst ourselves. But now the characters have all sort of gone to different places. I've sent uh, Fett off to find a nuclear bomb, like you do, um, but I have no idea whether he's succeeded or, or not, or where he is, even if he's alive. So there's a lot of, uh, we're working in isolation trying to solve the problem, and, and it's a um, it's question of if and when and how they come together and, uh, and finally resolve it. Really. it it's so indicative of how bad things have gotten because the idea was stick together was stronger that we had no choice but to go separate ways and try to figure out how to how to take it down so it's like we're on the on our last last breath you know um so it's uh it's it's a heck of a journey find a nuke dude find a nuke, find a nuke. <laughs> <laughs> all right cast in the strain and Maisie williams sitting in thank you so much <laughs> for being here we'll be back with more coverage uh, from comic-con here on entertainment weekly